There's our new pilot. I'm sure you're raring to take off. Before you go, do you want to hear about my time in space? You're nervous? Don't worry, so is I. I'm sure Slate already told you, but I was the worst pilot we've ever had. Talk to Slate. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say, Ray, get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go, I'm ready if you are. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? Um, let's go a little sassy. There was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? I feel like we should contemplate that, but okay. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, Slate, thanks for, thanks for that. Whee! Oh, we could jump? It's over here. I want to jump up on this. Can we grab this? Fuck. Okay. I, I don't think I'm skilled enough for that. Requires launch codes. Oh, okay. But if we can just jump. The jump's awkward. Okay, fine. It's all cute and stuff. Look at all of that. Oh, whoa. What is that? Oh, who are you? Mika. Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? I want to practice with a pro before I leave. Aw, oh, you're just saying that. But if you really want to practice with me, with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Oh. Fly model ship. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't pay attention to the controls. Hold horizontal thrust. Down up thrust. Oh shit, I completely just... Look, some of us are... This is not easy! Oh god! Okay, okay, we're gonna try just taking off first, and then... Okay. Oh, oh, oh god. We're doing so much better than we were, though. We're doing so much better than we were. Okay, we've made some progress. We just gotta be gentle. We gotta be more forceful. Yeah! This might be a good time to say that I've never been good at flying RC helicopters. Oh, what? I thought that was, that was, we did it. That's what we were supposed to do, wasn't it? Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. Is that me being bad at this? You'll... You'll be okay flying the big one, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. Now that you said that, I'm not sure about it, okay? You're not even who we we're supposed to talk to, I think. And I feel insulted. How? Are we short? Talk to Porphy. Hey, yo, Hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek some adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap white and more di daunting digestive challenge. 
Mm, let's say I'm only seeing adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Oh, okay. This is a cute little nice town. Who are you? Talk to Rutile. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They d really don't explode as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space programs certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. I had a bad feeling about these retro rockets. We've, like, focused on them, like, a, a bit more than I would like. Okay, there's nothing in here. Talk to Marvel. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platforms those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you build a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The current launch pad is fine. Thanks. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. The launch pad is flammable? Okay, that's actually what my concern is. Like, why are we building that? Also, a tree also seems flammable. Like, replacing whatever the launch pad is with another tree? Questionable. The launch pad's flammable? Ha! Huh, you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. You know how I said that there's been, like, a lot of focus on the retro rockets and us dying and all of that? I feel that's bad. Talk to Nice. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the traveler's instruments. Where's the observatory? Just saying hi before I leave. Tell me about the traveler's instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know? Let me see. There's Church drums, Ribbick's banjo, and Gabbro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though, Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels just like yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, if you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Do we have music? Do we have an instrument? Can we go in these places? No. Are you playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? No. Or you messed it up. Okay, you're just... Okay. Observatory. Talk to Galena. Dots. Okay. Talk to Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker, what's with the radio? Oh, I want to know what's with the radio, but I also want to know what's with my favorite troublemaker. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine wouldn't let us borrow their signal scope because it's real and delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Sorry, I can't today. Sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Glade and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Oh, it's a tutorial. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. What if it made us actually count? Equip your signal scope. Unknown. 40, 38, 30, 28, 23, 20. Are they? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, I fucked that up. Jump! Oh, crap. Jump, please? Okay. We're trying again. We're trying again. Now we know I need to jump better. Okay, so... We just have to... Oh, we could just drop down. That'll be easier than jumping there. I'm a fool. Oh, there's a dude fishing. We'll talk to you in a second, Fisher person. We're gonna try this one again. Please. 
talk to Tefra. Oh, he found me, but my hiding spot was super good. I, it took me like five seconds. The real difficult part was finding both, or finding, jumping here. Don't forget you have to find both of us, okay? Oh, crap, okay. First try. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, there's music. That's fun. Oh, there you are. Hello, Galena. I won. I'm happy. Oh, thanks for playing with us. Oh, I'm happy that you won too. Talk to Spinel. Fish and rhyme, fish and rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. The big water planet, giant steep, that's where I'd go. Why is that? I need to find Hornfells. Why do we have to find Hornfells? Why is that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant Steep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabro wants to see what lays beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabbro, Gabbro couldn't go any further. Tell me more. Yeah, Giant Steep has a current you can't pass through. I underestimated how boring this would be. Goodbye. Nope. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! Is it all true? Was there sap wine involved during Gabbro's campfire story? Ah! I mean, that's what Gabbro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabbro out pretty good. Everybody wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. I'm sad about leaving this cute little village with all the nice little villagers. You know, this is such like a cute game. I want to be here forever. Well. Hello? Our coast. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling, because ghost matter ev evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome! Ghost matter is super cool! It'll burn the heck out of you. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in, mat in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know ghost matter is how t Tektite lost her foot, right? Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Oh, is that ghost matter? All of that? These stones? I kind of want to walk into that one, but I feel like that's a... That's a no now. Zero G cave. Oh, I bet we get to practice floating in there. Gossin. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous for your first flight. I'm a little nervous, yeah? Are you kidding? I'm a natural at this. Are you kidding? I'm a, na I'm a little nervous, yeah, is the honest answer. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Okay, it seems like you definitely had a point that you weren't flying. Hey, I've gotten better. That's not what Slate says. That's not what Slate says. Oi, you know better than to believe a word that lunatic says about me. Whoa. They're still sore. I made them install a safety harness in the cockpit. Claimed it would throw off the thrust to weight ratio. Honestly, one of these days, I'm going to throw off Slate's thrust to weight ratio. So listen. There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero-g cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up! 
Cool. Get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. This feels like it'll hopefully go better than me flying the practice ship. Whoa. Whoa. It's so pretty. How does... Do we start floating in the... Oh, flashlight. Whoa! Okay, this way. It seems like there's some geo. Oh. Suit up. Okay. Oh. Whee! Who is this? Talk to Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm just getting some zero G time in. Give me the dirt. Guess where I'm going to? Give me the dirt. I want the gossip. Some fresh dirt. Not much happening down here lately. Lately, let me think. Come to think of it, Tech Tide saw something that crashed outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh, hey, how about that? Is anything on fire? Is anything on fire? Probably only a little. Tektai checked out the crash site with the old Firewatch scout launcher and saw smoke, so they headed over to stamp out any leftover fires. Well, I better get back to work. The sword's not going to mine itself, you know. Isn't Tektai the one that got hurt by the ghost matter? Zero G cave. Okay. That's cool. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna go all the way down here. Zero of three repaired. Ah! Okay, so we got this, we, we got this, we got this, we got this. What the shit? So I didn't realize it here, but my lock on button was bugged. And so I had an incredibly difficult time doing this. So I just skipped over the majority of it because watching it back made me motion sick. Anyways. Woo! Oh, we ought to get back. Okay, well. Not sure if we have enough fuel for that. Also, I'm lost. I'm super lost. Um. Up. Up more. And. Oh. Oh. We made it! Yay! Do we need to leave this? Return suit. Yeah, get out of this thing. We did it! We did it, person! Where are you? Oh wait, we have to go up. Talk to Gossin. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and not try not to hit anything big. It's your itch and get off this rock, so get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now I put so much time into training and got it. Okay. So we just gotta go to the observatory. Read. Aww. Um, okay, so I think the key with flying, how do we get over there? It's just to, wow. I think the key with flying in the zero G thing is I need to remember to use the opposite force to stop moving. Launch tower. Talk to Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator's tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ha <laughs> But geez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm terrified. 
I'm both. Aw, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings. Remember, you'll do great. I'll, I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabber brought it back with them from Giant Steep, and Hornfell's just finished prepping it for the display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Ooh, is that an anglerfish? Um... I don't like that. This anglerfish specimen was attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. We're gonna have to deal with those, aren't we? I feel like they're gonna be less scary than other stuff. Okay, we're gonna go up, 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 up. Talk to Hornfells. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. We are. Tell me, what's your plan once you get into space? I'm going to learn about more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. I think I'll meet up with the other travelers because the instrument thing interests me. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see. Shirt is on the hourglass twins. Ribeck is on the brittle hollow. And Gabbro is on giant seep, last I checked. And well, there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Eskar stationed on the Adle Rock. They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nonetheless. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day to launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. I'm ready to get off this rock. I don't want to be a huge downer, and I kind of want to do it. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Persuaded. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. We get to go to space. Hopefully I'm good at flying. Do 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 do. Whoa. The piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, Nomai often branch off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, oh, we gotta use our thing. Translate. Too close to target text. We are nearly ready. Felix and I have been finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix. Fortunately, the Adle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make a calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. What about that? What's that? Okay, this is the writing. Ooh. Okay, no. I'm being distracted. We should leave. Did I just like go into a random area? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabor claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree the fact is extremely creepy. Okay, so now it's there. And when I look down... And I look up again, it's gone. It's back here. Okay, don't like that. Yep, it's creepy. Agreed on the observations. What the fuck? That's way creepier. That's way creepier than the rock.
What? What the heck? Is there nobody here to comment on this? Where did Hal go? What the fuck was that? I did not. I hated that. I hated that. It looks like everything I had been doing was just the what did you do that for oh i don't like that that oh that that made me feel negatively hey hey so did you get a good look at the nomai statue the statue looked at me and opened its eye the statue was glowing why was it glowing no the statue looked at me and opened its eyes whoa whoa the statue was doing what so its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around you mean like a hallucination Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? You don't- you know what? Don't worry about it. No. That statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened then, I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfell's tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're gonna get any answers from the museum statue. But Gabbro said they were going back to Giant Sea. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know... Gabbro, so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. I want to fly. I want to go. I want to go find out. We're going to save Giant Steep maybe for after I find some of the other travelers. I really want to find the missing one. What was their name? For some reason, this is not their name. This is the name of... An animated movie. <laughs> I'm just like, Fern Gully. I'm like, no, nope, that's not it. That's not the name. Talk to Slate. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. I'd like that. Uh, sorry. So we don't get that. Okay. Enter the launch codes. Nobody's gonna see me off. I guess he- I mean, they only have, like, what, five astronauts? That seems like this is worth seeing somebody off for. Whee! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's if I have to go into zero G. Do I have to suit up before going? Health and fuel full. Buckle up. Lift off landing camera. Okay. Equip scout launcher. Equip signal scope. Huh. And we just took off. Oh, that must be somebody. Ah, I don't want to go into the sun. What is going on? Did I? Was that supposed to happen? Did I just careen myself into the sun and die? <laughs> oh no. What? Was it a dream? I was just trying to go to the sun. Talk to Slate. <laughs> what? <laughs> did I- did I just die? Well, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep under the stars the night before launch, and if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Wait, do we need to... Do we have the codes then? What the hell? So we... We didn't... We did die! Is this a time... Did... Is, is this a time loop? Are we being Groundhog's Day? That was a really embarrassing first death. That feels like I died much faster than the average player probably does. I need to get better at flying. What the heck? I want to go see the statue. Talk to- wait. You weren't out here earlier. 
Al. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Look, look, look. You got to see this. The Nomai statue's eyes are open. Yeah, they are. They used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. And now they've opened. We're not sure why they opened since no one actually saw it happen. But this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabro or maybe Ribek? Oh, the stars is so exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. Can I tell them? Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <sighs> Me too. I'm not even a little closer to understand what's going on with the statue. Is there something you needed? What about the other travelers? Tell me more about Feldspar. No thanks, I'm good. Tell me more about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Goss and Slate, the engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossin did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, so nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went or even whether they're alive. It's been a long time since they left. I am good. Okay, so nobody wants to talk to me about my crazy I died by flying into a sun and I'm back experience. Okay, then. Put this on. I don't know if we need this. I just am putting it on. Okay, we're going back in here. And... This time we're gonna try to... Wait, where's the sun that we careened ourselves into? Oh, there it is. That's Saddle Rock. Oh, no, 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 Woo! Okay, we'll go there. Just don't want to fly into... Oh, engage autopilot. Landing mode. And down? Do we have to do anything special here? I don't want to die! Oh, alright, we did it. Open hatch. Unidentified signal nearby. Okay, I did land the, the ship. Oh, Esker. Oh, this is the one that's just like a lunar local talk. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time to see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Who's that you whistling? Seems lonely up here. What is this place? Talk to you later. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and need more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chirk comes by to say hi, but Gabro's Gabro, and you know how Ribic feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, is there anything else you want to ask? Oh, you're lonely. Asker's lonely. It seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfells and Gossin mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground controls forget that I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? You spy on us? They forget about you is my bigger concern. I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. It's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Don't go. I mean, is there anything else you want to- Oh no, was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Outer Rock is pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. What is this place? Haha, -ha, very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. 
using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just up to, uh, here raising saplings from Timber Hearth and keeping an eye on things. Talk to you later. So we need to go to the North Pole. That's like definitely super small here. Oh, a harmonica. Sometimes that person was... I don't remember who got what instrument shit. Got what instrument? Can I lock on? Is that is it that? Oh, I guess it's just that. Okay, that's our planet, I think. Okay, next time I die, I'm definitely gonna ask who has what instruments. Okay, back to our ship. If I return my suit, will I, what is that? New ship log. Oh, so there's like four places I'm supposed to go, and then that mysterious place, and that. Okay. And then if I suit up again, how's my fuel level? Fuel level's still lower. Oh, match velocity. That's so much better. Make sure I'm not close to the planet or the sun. What is that? Short. Giant steep. Oh, okay. Engage autopilot. Okay. And now, down. Wait, why are you getting further? <gasps> ah! Okay, I'm kind of scared. I'm definitely super scared. I'm really scared. I don't like this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna find him. Oh yeah. We did maybe actually find him. Boom! Landed. Made it. Yeah. See look at me improving at flying. Don't know if we need this, but we're gonna wear it. An identified signal nearby. Wow, this place looks kind of sucky. Oh, the gravity's 2x. Ghost matter to ah! Okay, not that. Unidentified signal. To what the fuck is this planet? And now, now I'm just floating everywhere. My ship's now floating away. I hope that that's not a problem for me. 
I'd like to I'd like to land. Okay. Roast marshmallow. Just roast a marshmallow so that we're okay. I don't know what this is doing. Wake up. I don't like this planet. I don't like this planet at all. Can we roast a marshmallow? Move stick. Extend stick. Ah! Okay, we're gonna make the perfect marshmallow. It's not golden brown yet, y'all. That's the perfect marshmallow. Shit. Okay, fine. Okay, so there's a signal nearby. How do we get in there? Okay. Gabro! Gabro, how do we get to you? Oh wait, there you are. Talk. Nice, it's you! Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have just like... ...died somehow? Okay, so he's also died! So, do you remember dying a few minutes ago, maybe? Oh yeah, we definitely died. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. It was all way too vivid to be a dream. It's not just us. That's so relieving. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking them if they had died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Well, if you remember dying, then I guess I didn't just fall asleep and have a bad dream or something. I don't know what's going on, though. Today's been weird. Like, I was on a different er island earlier, right? I was on the beach looking at one of those big stone statues of a uh, no-my head. And the next thing I know, it's looking back at me, glowing. <gasps> Same thing! The statue replays everything I've just done, like it's been watching me through my own eyes, you know? And then suddenly it stops and everything's normal again. That happened to me at the observatory. You too, huh? Come to think of it, when I died, I saw what I'm pretty sure were my memories going backward, just like that time with the statue. Do you think the no my statues are related to us dying somehow? And another thing, we died, but we aren't dead? That's pretty unusual for Harthians. Well, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage. Let's talk about you, you know- Okay, we just died. We should talk more about this. How's space treating you? What are you doing out here? What should I explore on Giant's Deep? What's up with this planet? Where's your ship? Where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, huh? <laughs> Guess that would be pretty nuts. That almost happened to mine. I hope it's not lonely. Have you ever stared at a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you look at them long enough. How's space treating you? Where should I explore on Giant Steep? Well, actually after waking up from, you know, dying, I saw this same bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening in, up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing no my statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabros relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Uh, what are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing out here, really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes the cyclone comes by and lets my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Yeah, this island sucks. Are we gonna die? Are we about to die? How's space treating you? I'm scared to move. I'm so scared to move while we're talking. Can I not talk to you while we're in like a cyclone? Is that what's happening? Is that we're in a cyclone right now? How long are we gonna be up in here? 
You're also just floating and chill with it. Talk. Um, what's up with this planet? Ha, huh, no, right? Oh, you meant like tell you more about it? I gotcha. <laughs> well, Giant Steep is mostly, it's massive and mostly water. No surprise there. There's a strong current wave. Uh, there's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current. Neither idea worked. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, two ideas. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones, yeah? They're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their paths. Islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Okay, so I guess that's it for us. Let's go to our ship. I am curious about like the area with the ghost matter, but I've already hurt myself, so. I'm gonna keep my, my suit on. I feel safer in it. Um. Are we stuck? No. Okay, this planet scares the shit out of me. What? Did we die again? What did we die now?